As a first-generation American and as a child of immigrants myself, I relied a lot on public transportation, just like many of my students. And so in college, I actually had to take several buses and walk many miles while I was in school. And this was challenging for me because there were no sidewalks and it was really difficult for a young woman alone out in the world for the first time to be able to access a lot of the roads and transportation on my own. And so I am a community advocate and I advocate for my students, for public transportation and for education. For my students, safety is very important. Those who live along the corridors, for example, on Nolensville, many of my students live in those areas. And so we wanna make sure that our students can safely walk to the bus stops and be able to access public transportation so that they can make it to class on time. New information on a school bus crash. What happened about an hour ago on Thompson Lane in Nashville. Metro police say a pickup truck ran a red light. The bus driver was taken to the hospital, but is expected to be Many of our high injury networks, which is Nolensville, it's also Murfreesboro, it's Gallatin, it's Dickerson. We have schools that are actually right there on those and people fly through them. And when we've gone out and looked at the land use and looked at the transportation, we see a highway going through the middle of a community. We applied for a $13 million grant called Safe Streets for All from the US uh, DOT, and we were successful in getting it. So we're gonna be adding crosswalks, we're gonna be adding um, pedestrian signalization, we're looking at adding in bicycle lanes as well. We're gonna be looking at not reducing lanes, but narrowing the lanes so the cars move slower, and we just wanna create a safe space. When we create a public transportation system that accommodates for a greater society, we know that it'll increase tourism and the economy and just create a great energy and be better for our environment.